Welcome to the 2020 Census. This video will introduce you to the 2020 Census, present a quick overview of the online questionnaire, and help you answer the questions. The 2020 Census is a count of every person living in the United States. The Census is required by the U.S. Constitution and takes place once every 10 years. The 2020 Census is very important. Your responses help to determine the number of seats each state has in Congress and guide how more than $675 billion in federal funding is spent in communities each year. The 2020 Census is easy. Completing these questions only takes about 10 minutes. You can respond online from a computer, tablet, or mobile phone 24 hours a day. You can also respond over the phone or using the paper questionnaire. If you respond, we may not need to send a Census Bureau interviewer to visit you. An interviewer may still visit if you respond late, if we have follow-up questions, or for other surveys. Your information is confidential. Federal law protects your responses. Your answers can only be used to produce statistics and cannot be used against you by any government agency or court. Now we will take you on a quick tour of the Internet Questionnaire. Step-by-step -step instructions will be provided later in the video. When you visit my2020census.gov, you will log in using the Census ID from the materials that were mailed to you or left at your door. We will ask you to confirm your address and provide your name and phone number. Next, we will ask you to count how many people will be living or staying at this address on April 1, 2020 and list the name of each person who will be living or staying at your address. We will also remind you to include people that might have been missed. We will ask whether the home is owned or rented, and who owns or rents the home. We will ask each person about their sex, date of birth and age, Hispanic, Latino or Spanish origin, and race. When there is more than one person at an address, we will ask how they are related to the reference person. Finally, we will ask whether anyone sometimes stays at another address. If you're ready to begin, go to my2020census.gov now. The online questionnaire is available in English and 12 non-English languages. To select a language, click on the globe icon and select the name of the language, or select the name of the language at the bottom of any screen. Don't worry if you are looking for a language that is not listed. This video will show a step-by-step -step demonstration. Keep watching. You will need to complete the 2020 Census in one session. If you leave, you will have to start over. To begin, choose Start Questionnaire. First, enter your 12-digit Census ID. Your Census ID is on the materials that we mailed to your address or left at your door. If you do not have a Census ID, select the link below the login button and answer some additional questions about your address. You will still be able to respond. Then, confirm that you are completing the 2020 Census Questionnaire for the address shown. Select Yes or No. If you will be staying at this address on April 1st, choose Yes. Otherwise, choose No. The Next button takes you forward and the previous button takes you back. Do not use the forward or back buttons on your browser or else you may need to start over. Next, enter your name and telephone number. Enter your full name in English letters. Sometimes a message may appear on the screen that asks you to check your response or enter additional information. Review what you entered before selecting the next button. Enter the number of people, including yourself, who will be living or staying at this address on April 1, 2020. Click on the underlined blue links for help with the questions. Make sure that you count people where they usually live and sleep. If someone does not have a usual residence, count them where they will be staying on April 1st. Include babies and children of all ages, close or extended family members, people who are not related to you, and people staying here without a permanent place to live. Do not include anyone who lives away from this address most of the year, such as college students, armed forces personnel, 
People in a nursing home, mental hospital, jail, prison, detention center, etc., or people visiting who usually live and sleep somewhere else. These people will be counted in other ways. Then, list the name of each person living or staying at this address. To add more people, select the button labeled Add Another Person. We do not want to miss any people staying at this address on April 1st. If you forgot to include anyone who stays here, choose Yes and enter those names. Otherwise, choose No. Now you're ready for the next two questions about the home at this address. On April 1st, will the house, apartment, or mobile home at this address be owned by you or someone in this household with a mortgage or loan, including home equity loans, owned by you or someone in this household free and clear without a mortgage or loan, rented, or occupied without payment of rent. Then, select the names of the owners or renters of this house, apartment, or mobile home. Next, we ask some questions about each person you listed earlier. First, we ask if the person is male or female. We also ask you to enter the month, day, and year this person was born. Make sure that the age that appears is correct as of April 1st, 2020. Next, we ask about Hispanic origin and race. Please answer both this and the next question. Select whether this person is not of Hispanic, Latino, or Spanish origin, Mexican, Mexican-American, or Chicano, Puerto Rican, Cuban, or another Hispanic, Latino, or Spanish origin. If you selected the last response, enter more details in the box below. Next, we ask about race. Select one or more checkboxes. White, Black or African American, American Indian or Alaska Native, Chinese, Filipino, Asian Indian, Vietnamese, Korean, Japanese, Other Asian, Native Hawaiian, Samoan, Chamoru, other Pacific Islander, or some other race. Enter detailed origins in the boxes that look like this. Additional people will also see this question. How is this person related to the reference person? Select opposite sex husband, wife, or spouse, opposite sex unmarried partner, same sex husband, wife, or spouse, same sex unmarried partner, biological son or daughter, adopted son or daughter, stepson or stepdaughter, brother or sister, father or mother, grandchild, parent-in-law, son-in-law or daughter-in-law, other relative, roommate or housemate, foster child, or other non-relative. We're almost finished. Some people live or stay in more than one place, and we need to make sure everyone is only counted once. Select the name of anyone who usually lives or stays somewhere else. Otherwise, choose none of the above. If a person does usually live or stay somewhere else, select the reason why from the following. To be with a parent, grandparent, or other person. To attend college. For a military assignment. To be closer to a job or business. In a nursing home or group home. In a jail or prison at a seasonal or second residence, or for another reason. Great job! You are now ready to send your responses. Select Submit Questionnaire to complete the 2020 Census. You will see a confirmation page with your address and today's date. That's it! You have completed the 2020 Census online. Thank you! You may now close the web browser. To share this video or similar videos in other languages, please visit 2020census.gov slash languages.